So, we wake up to hypocrisy once again. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good idea to take that video down, Ryan. You see, Ryan thought <laughs> this morning, once again, making poor decisions, he'd make a video offering to pay for Johnny Cashville's rehab. You know, one thing I learned from dealing with my, my son being addicted to, to meth um, everybody else is on drugs, but them. they'll pass a drug test any day and everybody's telling lies about them. That's the number one theme from a meth head. And, you know, hypocrisy speaks a lot to the people that engage in it, because what it does is it speaks to the type of character they are. You see, they're the kind of people that if Billy, the guy they don't like, says gangbang, <gasps> it's horrible. But if their best friend says gangbang, it's funny. That's hypocrisy. Or when their best friend is slandering the shit right out of a woman, calling her every filthy name you can think of, it's funny. When somebody they don't like does it, they're suddenly <gasps> outraged. That's, that's hypocrisy. It's fun to watch, but sadly, it speaks to their, their character of who, what they are, who they are. You see, they have no foundation. They have no credibility. They have no convictions. They're just wishy-washy. Poor personality. Don't ever <clears throat> be friends with those kind of people. Now, to Crack Squad, all you broke-ass pieces of shit attacking this refugee family, you can win $1,000 cash today, cash app. I said this on my live, and I'm going to back it up again. You will get $1,000 cash app to you instantly. If you can bring me one comment from Johnny Cashville saying something negative about Ryan Upchurch or his mother anywhere on the internet. You see, what Johnny Cashville is guilty of <clears throat> is defending Xanime. And because he defended Xanime and he didn't maintain Ryan Upchurch's blind loyalty agreement, meaning if you are a part of what I do. You must remain loyal at all times or I will undo everything we did together. I mean, what a shitty thing to do to steal. Because right now what Ryan Upchurch is doing is stealing Johnny Cashville's work on his first three albums. That, by the way, are his highest streaming albums to date. And if Johnny Cashville wasn't owed royalties for that, Ryan, why did you pay him for six years? Clear up until the day he defended Xanime. Adam Calhoun. Funny how those royalties must have been owed. Clear up until the day Johnny Cashville dared to defend a highly decorated two-time war veteran with a bachelor's degree, small business owner, and a full-time job at NASA, while she worked tirelessly to get her family out of war-torn Ukraine into Germany to get green cards to come to the United States. You know, ABC did a whole documentary about that. And to show you, you know, just to prove how low IQ Crack Squad is, she has shown multiple pictures in uniform. ABC News affiliate Good Morning did a documentary about her, rode with her in her troops. She has posted her bachelor's degree online. She has posted another YouTuber that is a, I believe, retired Army colonel. Showed her entire military record in a live last night. None of that's good enough for Crack Squad. They still believe 
what Ryan Upchurch said while he was whacked out of his fucking gourd on meth. So <clears throat> I want to share some screens with you real quick. You see, what we have here is a Johnny Cashville, and he's in his car because he still has a driver's license, Ryan, because he can manage to register a license plate. One of the easiest things in the world to do, but for somehow, and, and my son had this problem when he was on meth, everything was too hard. Everything was too confusing, like registering a, a license tag, something, you know, a fucking 16 year old girl can do. His eyes are the exact, his pupils are the exact size they should be while being out in the sun, sitting in a car, driving because he has a driver's license. Um, you see what a meth head looks like is something like this. Okay. Meth heads look more like this. You see, those are meth balls, Ryan. Remember when you said Ellen DeGeneres' girlfriend wasn't really real and you couldn't understand all the links while Power Stroke and Father Son's reaction and Captain Kirk we're trying to help you decipher the mathematical equation of a triangle as you slandered this highly decorated woman and her family. Yeah, see, those are meth eyeballs. Now, I don't want you guys to be confused, crack squad. That's meth right there. Okay. But this, this is normal. Okay. Let's be clear. Okay. One more time. I don't want you guys to be confused about anything. That's meth. And this one here is normal. So who needs the rehab? And, you know, just to be clear that this was the third day uh, on his third day of his meth binge. Look at the size of them baby staring right into that fucking ring light. Look at the size of them toys. Kids, marijuana don't do that. Meth does. Now, let me move on to things that are a little more important here. We'll address a couple more things. Got another screen share for you. So I want to share one more screen here. Patty would like Crack Squad to know, if you live for people's acceptance, you will die from their rejection. And that's very true, Patty Lynn. That's very true. I like Crack Squad and Uncle Will chasing ryan down through panama as ryan just avoided him like the fucking plague because uncle will's too low iq to know that he's nothing but a useful idiot for a ryan up church a ryan up church would never hang out with somebody that damn dumb but boy are they useful weapons online for him to bully people like a highly decorated war veteran and slanderer now there's another like I said, in all you people tagging me in videos, just so you know, the only time I live, someone sends it to me, I might just click on it to see what the title is. I haven't watched any of your shit. I saw one today that was kind of interesting. Let me show you this one. And I, because I think this lady's confused about my message. So that's the only uh, reason why I'm going to share. Um, that's the only reason why I'm going to share. Well, let me go full screen this toy. Now, ma'am, I don't want you to be, you seem to be confused about my message. And I want to make sure you, I'm clear here. Okay. Cause you're, I see you've, you, this is a part two. So apparently you made a part one. 
why you couldn't have said it all in one video. I don't know. I want to be clear. Every day, nonstop, relentlessly, mercifully, seriously, I'm going to jump up on down on this woman abusing millionaire Billy who sent his low IQ crack squad to try and wreak havoc in this highly decorated war veteran's life, as well as her refugee family, making memes about her niece, making memes about her mother crying, saying, leave us alone, crack squad. So, ma'am, you're wasting your time. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you say about me. I'm going to defend this war veteran every single fucking day, day in and day out, until Ryan Upchurch undoes what he did to these people. So, don't waste your time anymore. Uh, so, I want to leave you guys with one more um, screen grab here. And this one's the most important one today. This is our, our best lesson for today. And that is going to be this, this guy. Uh, he did a live yesterday and shared Zanime's entire military history. You see, this guy's like, retired military with super high clearance. And he was able to access Zanime's military records. And what he did is actually kind of shitty because she didn't give him the green light to do this. But it is a good thing that he's doing. Don't get me wrong. He's defending Zanime. But if you have any doubts about her war and her military record this guy very clearly very eloquently very professionally put it to bed if you have any ideas about her bachelor's degree it's over on my community page if you have any doubts about her service in the military still there's an abc documentary where they rode with her and her family and her troops. And at this point, you would have to be just dumb to the just core your bones to deny who this woman is. Xana May would not be in your mouth but for Ryan Upchurch. None of you would have known she ever existed but for him. She did not know who a Ryan Upchurch was. Never heard of him before. She's too busy. She's got too much going on to even care. Every word he said about her has been debunked in, in, in with solid concrete. And you idiots are still clinging on. So, again, to, to Patty's little, you know, Patty's, Little message to Crack Squad. Let me let me just leave you with that. You know this this message from from Patty to Crack Squad. I mean, she didn't think it was to Crack Squad when she posted it. She thought it was to me, but it's actually to Crack Squad, and it is good advice. So I'm going to share it with you again. If you live for people's acceptance, you will die from their rejection. Uncle Will, Power Stroke. Adam Calhoun, father and son reaction, and all you other idiots. That's going to wrap her up for today, folks. Uh, hope you have a good afternoon, and maybe there will be some more hypocrisy tomorrow. But I ain't giving up. Ain't stopping anytime soon. Have a good one.